Hello everybody, it is Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video and today we have a little bit of a different video as I'm wearing my Halloween shirt and we have been in LA for this entire week so there's only one thing left to do before we head out of here and that is to check out some of the Halloween filming locations. The original 1978 film was filmed mostly around Hollywood, LA, and Burbank, California as well as Pasadena. So we are going to be going all throughout that area and finding as many of these places, these filming locations as we possibly can and showing them off to you and then also showing little clips of the movie or pictures of the movie to pair with uh, that scene so you understand like what it looks like now as what it looked like back in 1978 when the movie was being filmed. So our first stop here uh, is over behind us and it's actually in the Lake Hollywood area next to the Lake Hollywood Park. Uh, literally the Hollywood sign is like right to the right of us so it is really close to that it's a really weird location but I'll talk more about that when we get out of the car but before we head into that make sure that you are subscribed and have the bell notification turned on to get notified whenever I post a video and also make sure that you go down in the description and follow both my Instagram and my Twitter because I'm gonna be posting a whole bunch of different pictures that I am, have taken from this trip over the next couple weeks just so you can see more of my trip that I didn't film for you guys but after all that let's now head into the video so like I said we're at Lake Hollywood uh, Lake Hollywood Drive Lake Hollywood Park is like up there and then literally on the other side of that mountain is the Hollywood sign and we are walking over here right down here because this gate is has some importance to the 1978 film now this gate may not look familiar to most of you but I will put in the little clip to go with it so you can see exactly what it's supposed to be. Shouldn't we go on up to the hospital and wait? That is right, as far as I'm aware, this gate right here in front of us is is supposedly the gate that they used for the Smiths Groves Sanitarium, the entrance to the Smiths Groves Sanitarium in the 1978 film. I, it, I mean, it does look very similar, so maybe that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure, but as far as research purposes go, that's what they are saying, that this is, this is actually supposed to be. All right, so we parked a little bit up the street from the location that we're going to next. Um, the next location is probably the most iconic location from the entire movie. So we're going to head to that now, and I'll show you the clip that coincides with it. The Myers house! You're not supposed to go up there. Yes, I am. And there it is, the Myers house. The original Myers house, the only Myers house that matters. In all of its glory, completely restored, that completely different color as well from the original movie, but there it is, the Myers house in all of its glory. Now, funny enough, this isn't the original location of the Myers house. The Myers house, uh, I don't know how many years ago, but like a decent amount of time ago, got moved from its original location. It was actually down where we were walking down to here. It was a few blocks down that way. Um, I don't know exactly the location of it, um, but if I figure that out while we're, he while we're still in the area, I will be able to uh, tell you guys. So the location of the house where it currently stands is at 1000 Mission Street here in South Pasadena and then right up here actually funny enough directly across from where we parked our car after I just looked it up at 707 Meridian Avenue is the original location of the house where they took it from and moved it to its pre to its current location so we'll show you that and right there it is the original location of the Myers house has a new house on it to match with the other houses that are now here but 
The original Myers House location, 707 Meridian Avenue, South Pasadena. Really awesome to just see both the original house and it's where it, it was originally located. So directly behind me is the, the South Pasadena Public Library. I had to look back at it to look at it, but um, this uh, our next location is actually directly across the street, which is kind of ironic based on the location it is for this specific character, as they loved to read book and, books and was kind of a bookworm. So the next location has this little clip to go with it. Drop the key off at the Myers place. I won't. They're coming by to look at the house at 10:30. Be sure to leave it under the mat. Promise. That is absolutely right. Right across the street from the pa South Pasadena Public Library is the house of Lori Strode, and right over there is the corner where she sat with the pumpkins, waiting for uh, her friend to come pick her up. So we'll go over and check that out as well, but it's really awesome. And it, it looks almost identical with how it did back in, the, in, in 1978, except for maybe different painting, but it looks very similar. I just love people like this. The, the owners of this house have a little plastic pumpkin out here, as well as something telling you about the 1978 film, the fact that this is the house, and they're telling you that you can take the pumpkin and take a picture on little stoop over there just like Lori did in the movie awesome we're gonna go and do that what a beautiful candid picture right there it's taken straight straight out of the screen from the 1978 film might me in the role of Jamie Lee Curtis as Lori Strode but what a great like I love people like that that is great they know that people are gonna be by their house to see it they know that they that people are probably gonna want to take a picture like that. So it's just great that they do something like that. So here at 1026 or 10, 10, 1025 Montrose Avenue, here in South Pasadena, still in South Pasadena, literally all these locations are within five, 10 minutes of each other. We have what's directly behind me is referred to as the hedge. Here's the clip. Look where? Behind the bush. I don't see anything. The guy who drove by so fast, that one you yelled at. Oh, subtle, isn't he? Hey, creep. Lori, dear. He wants to talk to you. He wants to take you out tonight. standing right there. Poor Lori. Scared another one away. Oh my god. There it is. It's the hedge. The shape was walking behind, was standing behind that hedge and then disappeared out of view. So awesome, man. And then you slowly creep up on it and he's, no one's there. No one's there. That's great, man. That is awesome. And as you continue walking past that hedge, you walk down here to 1017 Mel, uh, Montrose Avenue, and that is Annie's house. Uh, Annie being Laurie Strode's be one of her best friends, who tragically dies like everybody else in the movie. But there you go, 1017 Montrose Avenue home of Annie's house where 
everyone is entitled to a good scare during Halloween. Excuse me, Lori. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I'm sorry, Mr. Brackett. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. That's all right. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice seeing you, sir. So our next location has only really seen once throughout the film and in, in, like, one or two scenes that are immediately directly after each other. But it's one of my, like... It's one of my favorite scenes because you that's when you initially see like somebody else sees the shape throughout the daytime. So I'll show you that clip right now. So we are here at Garfield Elementary and right down this path right here, as you can see, they have removed, they have changed the fence from a chain link to this metal fence now, but you can still see this pathway where the shape is standing right here and one of uh, Tommy Doyle's bullies comes up and bumps into him and, and the shape grabs him around his shoulders and he runs away. And then you see Tommy walking down this street and turning the corner as uh, Michael in the police car continues to follow him out throughout uh, in front of the school. And I believe right here is where that police car was stationed that Michael Myers was in as Tommy Doyle walks past the entrance of the elementary school and is just continuing to walk down the street with his broken pumpkin. So we're actually back at Montrose Avenue after checking out the school because I messed up. I messed up a location. We are actually here for a specific scene at the very beginning of the movie that just really, like, originally introduces the town of Haddonfield. Check it out. So here at the intersection of Montrose and Oxley is where that scene take, took place. The intro scene uh, introducing the town of Haddonfield is at the intersection of Montrose and Oxley facing west down Moxley I believe which is this way. I will make sure I check that before but I am going to try to recreate that scene as best as I possibly can. So that is going to wrap up the locations here in uh, in South Pasadena. So we have three more locations that we are going to get that are not in this area. One being all the way over at Sierra Madre. And then two more are back towards uh, Hollywood slash LA area. So we're going to go over to those next and then we're going to close out the video. So our next location is here in Sierra Madre. It's a little bit of a of a different location. 
Um, you'll see after the, the video right here. Where are we? Uh, huh? Oh, uh, it's uh, right over here. Yeah, Myers, Judith Myers. I remember her. Couldn't believe it. Such a young boy. Larry, you lost? Why do they do it? Goddamn kids. They'd do anything for Halloween. Who's Gregson? Oh, I don't know. Eighteen, nineteen. Judith Myers. He came home. So yes, we are at uh, East Sierra Madre Pioneer Cemetery. Um, I don't really want to film as a lot here, just showing off that it does look a little bit different than it did way back when when they were filming this, when they were filming the movie, as there is now a swimming pool down there right next to the cemetery. But this is where Judith Myers, uh, her to, uh, headstone was in this cemetery, and then when it got taken away and used uh, by Michael to show off one of his kills at uh, towards the latter half of the movie that's this is where that tombstone came from so our last two locations are literally right across from the street from each other and as you could probably guess since they're right across the street from each other you could probably guess what they are but this clip will answer your questions I mean, how could you just call him <laughs> Easy. I can't believe it. I can't tell you anything. Because every time I tell you something, everybody else knows about it. No, mad. Please tell me the So our first house here, right across, as you can probably guess now, is uh, little Tommy Doyle's house. This is where, uh, this is the house that uh, Laurie Strode was was uh, babysitting Tommy Doyle. This is where the boogeyman tried to come and get them. They were hid hidden in the closet upstairs. This is where it all went down in this, in this house. And 1537 right here is the Wallace's house where upstairs Lori found all of her friends dead and where Michael did most of his killings was in this house that is insane that is like literally right in front of me but that is the last house that we have that is the last filming location that we have here for Halloween so that is it I like I said that is every single filming location that I could possibly find around this area that was easily accessible. Um, I know this is a little bit of a different video, but Halloween is my favorite film. The 1978 is my favorite film of all time. I absolutely love it. And just being able to be out here and see these filming locations and it really like brings me back to when, like when that film movie was filmed originally. Because a lot of these locations some of them look really unchanged. I know the last two that we saw did look slightly different from their variations way back when, but for the most part, a lot of these locations looked extremely similar and just made me feel like I was right in the movie, and it was awesome to see that. But if you enjoyed this little bit of a different video, please make sure that you drop a like and also comment telling me what is your favorite horror movie. Like I said, Halloween is my uh, favorite horror film. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments what's your favorite one, and maybe I'll go to, to that filming location and film some of that for you guys. But as always, I'm Michael, this has been Hollow Thrills, and I'll see you guys next time.